Developing tonight, there's a new football coach at Hamilton High School. The hire comes almost a year after six players were arrested for hazing, accused of sexually assaulting other team members. Hamilton's former coach was removed during the investigation, but now we're learning that his replacement has dealt with hazing in the past, too. Team 12's William Pitts is in Chandler tonight with more. William? Former Hamilton High School football coach Steve Bellis was pulled off the job after a hazing scandal happened on his watch. Now Hamilton has a new coach with a hazing scandal in his own past. I looked at the school for what it was and, and the success that it's had. New Hamilton coach Mike Zadebski meeting the media on his new home field last week. But over the weekend it came out that Zadebski's team in Michigan had its own hazing scandal in 2011. A player was reportedly tied to a pole, had his mouth covered with duct tape, and beaten with sticks and pillows. The player's mother filed a police report. Zadebski says no charges were filed, but two assistant coaches were fired and five players suspended. It was an off-campus event. It was at a, uh, a parent's house, and, uh, you know, it was basically a pregame dinner. Speaking from Michigan today, Zadebski says what happened in Michigan is not the same as what happened at Hamilton last year. Ours was um, an isolated event that was... Uh, dealt with by our board level administration and at no time was I ever present for any of it and the chief of police uh, Sergeant Hamlin basically classified it he did classify it as a horseplay. The Chandler School District says it knew about the incident in Michigan was satisfied with how it was resolved and moved forward with the hire. Meanwhile, the Hamilton case is still unfolding. Police have recommended charges against three school administrators, including former coach Steve Bellis. But the Maricopa County Attorney's Office has not moved forward. State versus Nathaniel William Thomas. Nathaniel Thomas, the former player charged as an adult with sexual assault, is on his third lawyer. In court Tuesday morning, she said Thomas may be closer to accepting a plea deal. I believe that we are in a at a point at least to start some um, open dialogue with respect to a resolution of this case. Thomas will argue for a reduced bail next month. A trial date has not been set. William Pitts, 12 News.